the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Well, he has paid. You know, you, you, you reject it and you know, yeah. that's on you. Yeah, you ain't uh, man, this man, the very nature of man, yeah. is the, the, the sin in the flesh, they ripped his flesh to pieces. Yeah. And he let it happen willingly because our sin was placed in it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where there was no sin. So, yeah. oh man, just, just, are, are we willing, are we willing to give up the, the, the we just have a desire yes. Yes. that we have to give up, yeah. we have to sacrifice the desires of this flesh. This man gave up his very flesh for everybody, for yeah. everybody, to, yeah. for it to be ripped to shreds, to shreds uh, tormented. Uh, uh, probably every nerve in his body was afflicted on our behalf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the crown of his head to the bottom of his feet, mm -hmm. uh, agonized on our behalf. Yeah, compassion. Even up to death. Yes. To 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 save each and every one of us. Each of us. Um. And then to, to deny that yes. is, uh, is worthy of what's to come. Exactly. And for us to sit there and be, well, I said that, that you, when you said that somebody owe you a debt, and we yeah. talking about from an offense, it's equivalent to sixteen. Well, and for a, and for a um, and for a righteous man, some might even would. Give their life up for somebody. Yeah, else. yeah. But, but the in, Bible said he committed his love for us while we were yet sinners. Yes. Christ died for us. We were far from I mean, him. He died for the jokers that was that was again. Yes, sir. The ones that actually committed. That show no more would be on. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And that's what he's trying to, I think that's what he, that's, that's consistent stories out throughout the whole gospel. And to let people know that's what we're talking about. That's the God we're talking about. You know, and, and that's why I was talking about when I was talking to a friend about the, you know, closing this, we were talking about with the, the, uh, I was looking at some of the clippings of the, uh, even black Israelites. A lot of cases, they're looking at the atrocities of the past and saying, well, these people, God don't love. And, and I'm, I'm sitting there saying this, we're all guilty. Every last one of us. It's not about seeing people go and, determined to go to hell. It's all about the compassion of what Christ is all about. Forgiving. Some people don't want to forgive. And that's that's unfortunate. But you but know what? The, the bottom line, the, the 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 question that always needs to be asked. So then what? Then what? Yeah. Bring up the past, but your question should always be so then so now what? So now what? Okay, you said that. <laughs> so now what? <laughs> I saw one of them sit there and say that, well, you were, one of them sit there and had videos and videos and said, you're supposed to serve us. They're talking to the, what they call the idiomites, right? Idiomites. Uh -huh. They said, y'all supposed to serve us. The whole world is here because of us. If it wasn't for us, the world wouldn't be here. That's what the person said. And I was like, I want to see that, that, that theme that Christ is showing in John 13, 34, or the theme that we just saw in Matthew 18. Chapter 18, forgive them of their death. And, yeah. and Beth, you know what? Forgive people's already dead anyway. I know we got enough issues, you know, today. But the people who, who are dead and gone, you know, Jim, in their history, let that go. There's no reason to hold on to those who have now died to commit a trial. It, it, let it go. That debt, they, 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 I guess I, I tried to tell some people before, that debt 
if it was not paid to the blood of Jesus, they they in trouble. Is that true? Well, I could be offended, and I I I, I could go ahead and just say, dare say, everybody I've ever met in my life. If I really wanted to just be offended about something they said or something I thought they should have done, did and didn't do, or a comment they made that I didn't think they should have made, or I mean, if that's kind of my focus, I probably could be offended by everybody and have something against everybody. Yeah. But I mean, what kind of life is that? And I, you know what? I, it, it means zero to me. I mean, absolutely nothing. I see you tomorrow, and I'd be I'd be hard pressed to even remember what you said the day before. To be honest with you, I mean, I really, I mean, you'd have to really remind yeah. me and bring it back up. Yeah. I mean, I just do. It just it doesn't matter to me. I mean, because. You know, because one, two, you think about life and, and, and you've been around the Bible for a while, you understand, man, that ain't about nothing. I mean, and I'm sure that uh, just about everybody I've met could probably say Jimmy offended them some kind of way. You know, and they could have a reason to be mad at me about something. Yeah. And and, and some still may be harboring that. But I mean, come on, that's, that's like they said about unforgiveness, man. That's like drinking poison and hoping somebody else dies. It makes no sense. I don't, I don't, I don't have time for Wasted it. energy. Wasted energy. Exactly. Period. Yeah. And I like the word zero. Dude, means- back when, like, let me just say this one last thing. You know, just like when we was little kids, you know, that's why when the Bible talks about be as little children and it talks about children so much. It's just the innocence of things. I remember me and my boys, man, we would go to some of the old dirt courts and, and play basketball. And I'm talking about, we might, because we're on the opposite team, we might have a knockdown, drag out fight right yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the middle of the game, the game after the end. And then on the way home, he asked me, how much money you got in your pocket? Well, I got a dollar and a half. How much you got? I got $2. Let's stop by here and get us a soda, yes. a honey bun, and some bologna, and we're going to split it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we're doing that on the way home. Yeah. Five minutes after the fight. You know, it's over with. Who cares? Yeah. It was, children. it was just life, man. But see, now, shoot, I mean, we might even speak to each other again for 20 years, you know? That's Craziness. Yeah. Hey, these, yeah. these, these, these young, these young Thundercats now, man. They have no concept of they life. Gun you down. No yeah. concept of Ooh. life yet will take it. Will take a life without even knowing the concept of life. And and that's the tragedy. Listen, I advocated. I ain't trying to advocate hurting nobody, but gentlemen, if y'all don't have a pistol, if y'all ain't carrying it in your in your car or something, man, please start. These guys are here nuts now with these oh, carjacking yeah. you, pumping pump your it's, ass, it's, you with your wife. I mean, they ain't got nuts. Yeah. See, and then this this civil war that's to come, because it is is obviously on the horizon. I mean, you don't have to read tea leaves to see this coming. It's not going to be a civil war of old. You know, this is going to be militias fight militias, people picking out soft targets and trying to take these folks out just out of hatred. So so uh, in in. So it, it's it's only obviously you need to be prepared to to vend your your yourself your family. Um, so yeah, Jimmy, it, it, yeah. it's imperative. I mean, Peter yeah. had a sword, and he it, and <laughs> he was with Jesus the whole time. So he, and the only time he yeah. told him to put yeah. it away was when he was a, he was affecting what Jesus' purpose was. You yeah. never, you never heard him tell him to put that sword yeah. away any other time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, and I think that's the issue. That's the sad thing about it. And then, look, and worse than that is, if some of those actually try to do it, commit that, five years later on in the road, they're gonna try to see how they can cover it up so they don't offend somebody. People are <laughs> fanatical, man. Fanatical. Let me tell you something. And when we sit back and we think about it, we sit back and we think about it. So now you and I are gonna fight because politically I see it from one perspective and you see it from a different perspective. So now we gotta try to kill each other and maim each other. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. And the sad thing, Jenny. It's so stupid. These are church folk. Yeah. That, that's that's what that's what hurts the most. That these are people who call themselves Christians, trying to fight about this world system. 
Yeah. It broke my something. It, broke and if my... we really need and if we really know the truth, both of them are corrupt. Yes. Both of them are evil. Yes. Both sides are racist. Both one side ain't no better. Ain't a nickel worth the difference between one side or the other side. Yeah. If we really knew all the truth about what yeah. goes on behind the scenes, under the table. They ain't a ain't, ain't a hill of being different between one or the other. But they it's got not. us battling and fighting because that's what they want us at. So yeah, that they can do other things because we're too right. caught up in fighting against each other. Yeah, that's, we're so dang up stupid. It don't even make system. sense, man. The system is geared for uh uh Discord. Yeah, that's it. it it's every, exactly. Every, exactly. Every, every exactly. single uh uh form of government is to bring about chaos. Yeah. Because if they don't... How is it different from where they live? No. To get one against another. That's all, no. that's all they're doing. That's all it is. They kill you all. And see, and the, and the sad thing about it, Jimmy, One is against that, another. So they battle not, each other, and they're not watching us. It's not subversive anymore. It's done openly. You don't have the same person say one thing from one group of people. And say something from another pe group of people, and then deny them both. It's and it's recorded, and so you know that is is bad. That they they don't even care anymore. They just it's so open and it's so plain, and yet people are falling by the wayside left and right because they're grabbing whatever they hearts want to agree with. That's the sad thing about it. Whatever, they, whatever their flesh wants to agree with. People in them. People believe in their wives. Oh. They're not speaking anymore. Yeah. Family members don't even associate no more. Are you serious? I just heard a woman say that oh. her, her father didn't go to her wedding because she, she, she spoke against Trump. No, she did. That, that's just so wow. ridiculous, man. Wow. That's. <laughs> God is looking down saying, oh my God, did I create a bunch of idiots or what? Well, he probably been saying that. That doesn't make any sense, man. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. It, it really does. And hey, let me tell you something. And hey, let me tell you something. Neither one of you or us on this phone ever met Joe Biden and never met Trump. Never. And I'll be honest before. with you, if you really needed something, and you was down on your luck, and you asked either one of them, you get turned down. Neither one of them don't give a pill of beans about you or me or yeah. the other one, period. But yeah, we have to fight each other over what one of them would do or say or what one of them said. Are you serious? And the crazy thing is, life. they have no control of nothing. It's the local government doing all of the corruption. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't want period. you to, yeah, and you know that the election participation at the local level is always low. And you know, and you're never gonna change it. I don't care who you put Most in there. Most important elections are at the local level. Period. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there. That's where the emphasis will be always there. And that way it'll take care of the big elections because you always focus on the minor elections. But if we don't do that. Hey Myra, just think how many people left their home churches. Never they left their home church that they was in for years because you know, the pastor got up and said something positive about Trump, or he said something positive about Joe Biden, and that's not what they like. So they left the church. They left the freaking church. Yeah. Yeah. See, but this is the problem. Why is the conversation about local government being talked about in church? Yeah. Why are government officials. And we got 66 books. Right. You, you, in, in everything books that we don't understand that we you go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you you're right, I and mean, that, and that's my point. We don't even know about our own kingdom, no. and yet we're trying to further a kingdom that is against ours. I know. You know, I ask people. Let me tell something. Ninety percent of the people, ninety percent of the people sitting in them pews have never read it from cover to cover. No, don't even don't don't even understand half the stuff they have read. But yet we got time to talk about somebody that don't know us, whatever. We got a book that has been in your house since the day you was born, and you ain't never read it. It's the most important book in the world. <laughs> but 
got we got we got all this other time to talk about so many other things. And and, and oh, what a distraction, man! You talk about an okie doke. We really fell for it, buddy. Yeah. Hey, have you ever noticed? I don't know if y'all have done this. I, I think I asked. Uh, but as I do before, maybe not. But have you ever asked people about some of the stories in the Bible uh, and see their reaction? Have you ever ask somebody you talk about? Do you know what the fruits of the spirit is, or, or the characteristics of the fruits of the spirit are? And you know what? I, I mean, I'm just amazed when I see people that's our age, and I say, you know about the fruits of the spirit, right? I ain't hear that. I say. Or I remember when I tell you about Naaman, right? We were talking about Naaman. And I asked him, so you know about Naaman? Exactly. Yeah, Jimmy, he was like, I, 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 no, I, I ain't hear that word. You'd be like, how would you know the, understand the Bible if you don't know some of these basic events in the Bible? And, and, them, and them the folks that's been going to church for 25 years, we talking about the ones outside the church now. I hope you're talking about the ones that's going regular. They they they, they stumbling. Huh? If you don't know how them before. Huh? That's why I said keep looking at it, keep preaching the same message and teach people, show people the scriptures as you go because they don't know. They haven't read it cover to cover. You and, and Jim, I think you just said one time. And then but, but here. Go ahead. You asked us to ask what did they talk about in church? If you go, if you ask somebody Monday, hey, man, did, did you go to church? There, what, there you don't know. There you don't know. What was the foundation scripture? What was the basic scripture? Uh, uh, uh. It was good though. Oh, yeah. Have mercy. Just stop. Yeah, it. Tell you, in, in that, look, in look, 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 look. Go ahead, Jim. And I'm gonna start asking them when they start telling me when they start telling me about about what Trump said. I'm gonna ask them. Well, tell me some Jesus said. Yeah, yeah. Some Jesus said. Let me see. For every, for every <laughs> time you one. tell me something Trump said, give me one thing Jesus said. Or anytime you say something that Biden said, give me one thing Jesus said. Let me see. Let me see who you really worshiping. Let me see yeah. who you really following. That's Let a me good see who one. You really yeah. quoting. That's a good one, brother. That's a good I'm, one. I'm gonna definitely. I'm gonna definitely throw Jesus that in my. Exactly. I'm gonna throw that in my way. Jesus Christ, but you can tell me everything about war and all. Man, stop. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Now we're talking. That's the whole point. He said to continue in my word. How many people, just by asking a question, are even continuing in his word? That's the that's the your that's your quick that's a that's something to look at for the for the week. All right, bro. Hey bro, uh, Madison, can you pray us out, brother? Sure, sure. Father, we we truly thank you for another great, great opportunity to get into your your will and your purpose, Father. We thank you for being in the midst of us. Yes. Father, we thank you for the revelations that you have given us on this day. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, that they were given with all simplicity and that we do have an understanding, Lord God, and that they have fallen on good ground and yes. that they will bear much fruit. Father, we go forth, Lord God, with this these lessons in our hearts into this world, Lord God, to advance your kingdom as your ambassadors. Father, we just truly thank you. And uh, we just want you to know that we truly, truly, in our efforts, is to glorify you. Okay. And we say these things in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen.